difference between AP Calculus and Regular Calculus? AP Calculus covers more calculus, more topics, and in more depth than Calculus and Vectors. The Ministry of Education calls the credit Calculus and Vectors, so we teach Calculus up until the end of January, and then we do three units of Vectors. In AP Calculus, we spend the whole year studying Calculus, and that's why you're required to take advanced functions for AP Calculus at Crescent because we've modified the credit slightly. So to deliver all the content, we need you to take advanced functions for AP Calculus and AP Calculus at Crescent when you're taking AP Calculus. Calculus is about rates of change. So our first unit is about rates of change and limits. Our second unit is about laws of derivatives. Then we do applications of derivatives and finally trigonometry and exponentials. In AP Calculus, we also cover two units of integration. In calculus and vectors, we also do three units of vectors, which is the geometry of 2D and 3D spaces. Both classes are structured more or less the same way. We study new material, and then there's time to practice it. In AP Calculus, the assessments are strictly tests and quizzes. In regular calculus, there are three types of assessment, quizzes, tests, and open book review assignments. We do those as practice at the end of each unit. They're meant to be a practice for the unit test at the end, and they're also meant to be an incentive to make sure your homework is complete. Calculus is extremely applicable at university. I've heard that the laws of nature are written in calculus, so if you are studying natural sciences of any kind, engineering, physics, chemistry, you're going to use calculus. Calculus would be the language you speak to study those things. If you're going to be in financial analysis or in mathematical analysis, you're going to use calculus to do it all the time.